is session two and we're going to talk about the fire of revelation how God reveals himself in the fire we've seen how God revealed himself as fire to Ezekiel and how he revealed himself to John with eyes of fire and feet of fire and today we're going to see how God also comes as a fire when he reveals himself and gives revelation to his servants God revealed himself to Abraham. In Genesis 15, Abraham made a sacrifice. He took a heifer, a goat, a ram, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon, and he cut them in two, and laid each piece one against another, except for the birds that he didn't divide. And then God, that evening, came and revealed himself to Abraham, and made and confirmed a covenant in Genesis 15, 17, it says, Behold, a, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp passed between those pieces of sacrifice. God revealed himself as a fire making a covenant. God also revealed himself to Moses in the fire when God called Moses to lead Israel out of Egypt. In Exodus 3, 2, it says, The angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. It wasn't consumed, because God himself was a fire, revealing himself to Moses. God also revealed himself to Israel, the nation, in a pillar of fire. In Exodus 13 and verse 21, And the Lord went before them, and by night, in a pillar of fire, to give them light, to go by day and night. God also revealed himself to Israel at Mount Sinai and gave them his law. In Exodus 19 and verse 18, it says, And Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire. And the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. God revealed himself to David, this time not as a physical fire, but as a, an fire of inspiration in his heart. In Psalm 39, verse 3, David says, My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. And then spake I with my tongue. In the New Testament, we see that John the Baptist, he prophesied about Jesus and said in Luke 3, 16, He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. A revelation of God was to come to the church. And we see how God revealed himself to, to the uh, 120 on the day of Pentecost. The fire of the Holy Spirit fell in Acts 2, 3. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues of like as of fire, and it sat upon each one of them. So God reveals himself in fire. He reveals himself to us when he covenants with us, when he calls us when he gives us light and leads us, when he burns in our heart and fills us with his Holy Spirit. May we too experience the fire of revelation and let it burn in our hearts and in our minds.